Hello, CrossFit San Ramon. This is the um, 326 workout for those of you who have a home gym. So we're working on some clean and jerk skill work and lifting here. And I'm gonna have Lori go through that and then we'll come back to a six round for time workout. So here we go. We're gonna start off doing a high hang clean at 40%. You're gonna do three sets of three of the high hang cleans. So starting at the hip, we're gonna drop into the squat so drive and then drop into the squat. There you go, that's your high hang clean. After that, we're doing three sets of three on the push jerk. So push jerk again is dip drive and drop. Make sure you lock those arms out each time. So we'll do three sets of three of that. Then we're gonna move on to a hang clean and we're gonna increase the weight to 50%. So this one's gonna start at the knee and then from there, we're going to drop into the squat again on that clean. So that is the hang clean. We're doing three sets of two. Moving on to three sets of two push jerk at that same 50% of your clean and jerk max. And then after that one, we're gonna go into three um, sets of one of the complex of one clean, one push jerk, and one split jerk. Clean from the floor, one push jerk, and one split jerk. After we do our three singles of that complex, so each one of those complex counting is one, and that's at 60% of your one rep max, we'll move to 70% of your one rep max for three singles on a clean. And on these cleans, focus on getting under it nice and quick for that three singles on the clean at 70%. Then we're gonna move up to 75% and do, um, <laughs> she's imaginary adding weight here. We're gonna move on to uh, clean and jerk. So we'll do uh, one set of two at 75%, one set of two at 85%, and then we're gonna record and modify our last set of two, which will be at 85% for a clean and a jerk, and then back into one more clean and jerk on that, so. Jerk. I did one of each. Yeah, if you did one of each there. So, all right. So, um, one set of two again at 75, one set of two at 80%, one set of two at 85%. After you finish that, I'll zoom back in on that one more time so you can see and look at that. And then we're going to move down to the six rounds for time. We're going to do 20 plank up downs, 10 front rack lunge, that will be with your barbell, and then 20 kayakers with your uh, kettlebell, 35, 26 for RX, 50, 35 for RX plus. Um, the barbell is at 75, 55, and 115, 75 is the RX plus. All right, and then finally, it's an in, in, out, out. So let's show us the plank up down here, Lori. So that plank up down, she's starting out on the elbows, raising up to the hands, and then making sure to switch directions once in a while so we're not always coming up on the same side. There you go, thank you on that one. Then we'll move on to the front rack lunge. So here, we're gonna go back to our barbell, pick that barbell up, put it in the front rack, lunging forward, stepping back. Lunging forward, stepping back. Each step counts as one. There we go. On to the kayaker, following that. In the kayaker, we're gonna sit down, Raise the feet up off of the ground and bring that kettlebell from side to side, touching the floor on each side. Excellent. All right, the in, in, out, out. This is actually a little speed ladder drill we're adding in today. But here with this one, we're using these dots here, but uh, a, just use a tennis shoe is fine at home. So anything you find that you can go over. So feet go in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Good. Each direction will count as one. That's 20 of those. And then back to your planks, up, plank up, down, six rounds for time. All right. Have a great workout, everybody.